Hey everyone, Vinayak here. I had the SKR Mini E3 and the BL Touch lying in my room since January. As I have already installed the SKR Mini board in my 3D printer earlier, the time has come to install the BL Touch to the printer. So let's get started. The steps in this video are more for the SKR Mini E3 and to a limit to the Creality 3D ender board. But the final wiring is a little different from the Creality board, so I would recommend looking for a custom tutorial video. So now that that's out of the way, let's get started with the installation of the BL Touch. I have watched up teen tutorials on the steps to install the BL Touch, and they do get confusing at times, making the task look more daunting than it really is. This video is a straightforward install with the firmware available on the JIT repository directly for download without the need for compiling. I agree it won't be the latest version but at least the steps are easier to follow and you can upgrade the firmware to the newer one when it's it's available. The BL Touch is a high precision auto leveling solenoid and hall sensor which can precisely measure the tilt of the bed surface. It works on any kind of printing bed such as glass, wood, metal and so on. Opening up the box we have the included screws, burner which I'll not be using, BL Touch sensor with an additional probe. This is the BL Touch 3.1. There are other connectors, zip ties, pin board, ISP pin board and a frame. We need to install the sensor in line with the extruder which is possible with the provided frame. I am going to be installing the sensor here. The screw holes and the bolt hole match up. Being part of the kit, you don't need to print one anymore. The frame is also metal which will be sturdier than PLA anyway. We are provided with M3 into 6 and M3 into 8, which are 6mm and 8mm M3 screws. These will be used to fasten the sensor to the frame. Before we install the frame to the printer, we mount the sensor onto it. Use the screws provided to mount the sensor and this is how it looks. The connectors on the sensor point towards the length of the frame. Now we need to get the cover off the extruder fan. Once the screws are removed, the cover pops off like this. Place the frame on the mount, aligning the screw holes and tighten the screws to fix it in place. Before attaching the sensor to the frame, I insert the connector into the BL touch. Make sure of the direction before inserting. I found that the threads on the BL touch were not being held up by the screws and it kept falling. I then rummaged through my son's electronics kit and mounted the BL touch using a screw and nut instead, which held the sensor in place so much better. Next, we cut the zip ties holding down the wire sheath and snake the sensor wires all the way down to the main controller board. It's quite a big job, so instead I ran the wire externally. And if you have the patience, you can do it the right clean way. Now to install the sensor wires onto the main controller board, we need to take the top cover off as we had done earlier. Two screws in the front and one in the rear. Pull in the sensor wire from the hole in the bottom to the front of the motherboard. Here they are, the sensor wire and the Z-stop connectors. Being the SKR board, we don't need to use the ISP and burner included, but you will need them if you are using the original Creality board. The best part is we don't even need to install the Win27 power adapter board as the SKR Mini E3 has a dedicated sensor port. But there is one, not a problem, but still an important step to take before connecting to the SKR board. The connectors on the board are present red, blue and yellow, which are VCC, ground and signal. Looking at the diagram on the SKR board, the blue and the red needs to be flipped to ground, VCC and signal. These being DuPont connectors, pry open the lugs, pull the connectors out and once out, rearrange the wires into the correct slots and you should feel it clicking in, which indicates that the wires have locked in place. Now insert the connector into the sensor plug, make sure to match the direction. Also unplug the Z-stop connector and connect the one from the BL Touch. The BL Touch will now handle all Z-stops. As I didn't snake the wire through the harness, I used duct tape to attach it externally all the way to the bottom. Now we need to flash the new firmware with the configuration for BL Touch present. So open up the SKR Mini E3 kit, download firmware BL Touch bin file, rename to firmware.bin and copy to the printer's micro SD card. Insert the card into the printer's micro SD card slot. Turn the machine on and as it starts up, the firmware is flashed. Now we are ready. You should notice a new BL Touch option in the configuration menu. Let's try auto homing the extruder. Well, the moment of truth. The sensor is active and the probe is deployed. It touches the bed, stops the extruder from hitting the bed 
Phew, that was close. As we don't have a Z-stop switch connected anymore. Now that we know that it works, we can remove the Z-stop switch completely. On printing, I find that the extruder is quite high. As with most installs, we need to do an initial bed calibration, which is done by making sure the extruder is the right height away from the bed to get the best smooshing of the PLA for best addition and print. We also need to set the Z offset to get the height just right. I found the offset for my printer to be minus 2.96 and it's working really well once I set it. Well, that's how you install the BL Touch on an SKR Mini T3. I hope that it helped you understand the steps and enabled you to install one yourself. I can be messaged at tech at talkingstuff.net or WhatsApp us at 9652578833. Also make sure to like, subscribe and also click on the notification bell to be notified when new videos are added. Thank you for watching and see you all next time.